Welcome back to Aussie Coiny Chunters. So this will be my first coin noodle for the year. Um, yeah, so I've got a jumbo bag of uh, 50 cent coins. I've already gone through uh, most of them. So, so far we've got a few good finds. Uh, 93, low mintage, 1, one million. Um, 73. Twenty eighteen. I keep all the twenty eighteens. I'm not sure if um, this camera is going to pick things up today because it is a dull day here in Melbourne. Uh, two changeovers so far. One Marbo. Uh, a Royal Visit. It's in nice condition, so I kept it. Uh, so far, just one Federation coin, state coin, New South Wales. And a 2000 Millennium, which is in nice condition, so I've kept that. Yeah, so they're the finds so far. Um, so far the best one being the 93. At 1 million, low mintage. So yeah, let's start. I'll try not to keep the video too long. So yeah. I hope everyone um, had a good Christmas and a new year. Um... Yeah, hopefully this year's a better year for us all. So, I don't know if this is a double bar. Even if they are, I don't keep double bars now. I've got too many of them. So, yeah. So this year I'll be um, noodling a lot more 50 cent coins. Um, I probably won't be doing as many uh, $2 coins this year. This camera is not going to pick things up today because of the dull light. I do have a light on, but yeah, I don't really have the best setup for coin noodling, really. But yeah, I'll stick with it for now. Um, I do hope to update a few things during this year, like a new camera. I'm still using the um, tablet. So yeah, it's hard to see. 84. I don't really want to keep it too long, so yeah, just not going to want to pick up today. 2011. Yeah. Just get the doubling. No. So yeah, I hope um, everyone has a good year. Um, I hope you's, if for the ones at Coin Noodle, hopefully you get some nice finds this year. Um, there's a lot of exciting coins coming out during the, this year. The Mint have already released um, some new coins, and yeah, as you saw in my previous video about the uh, 2021 Two Fairy coin, yeah, don't go paying uh, double or triple on the secondary market. Um, the mint will release more. They are unlimited, those coins. So, yeah, don't go um, paying double for what they're really worth, especially an unlimited coin. As I said in that video, I could understand if it was a mintage of 30,000, but yeah, not unlimited. Don't, don't go paying double. There's some sort of little doubling on that five. I'm not sure if it's picking it up, but uh, I've got a f too many of them as well, so I'll just put them back. Yeah, so we've got a lot to look forward to this year. Um, there is um, a fair few coins. The Mint have just released, as I said, the Tooth Fairy and the RAAF. Um, Mint set, uh, so that's a, um, a mint mark one. So you get the mint marks of B, S, M, um, and I believe it is um, C. So yeah, just like the Eureka, um, was it the Eureka or, yeah, I think it was the Eureka last year. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, they've also released the, um, they've also minted the single um, $1 coins in carded. So, yeah, I'll, I believe there's five of them. So I'm thinking that the other one's the P Mint Mark for Perth. So, yeah. Uh, a few dealers have them up for sale right now. So if you want to um, pick them up. Post mint damage, yeah. So if you want to pick them up, um, you can get, go through the dealers. As I said, with the two ferry, you can still get them from dealers too. So yeah. Uh, also, um, the mint's got a a bag, uh, R W A F bag, like something like what they did last year with the Eureka. Um, so you get the this year's coins, minted coins. So might be worth picking that up. Um, so this isn't a rotated nut. So yeah, it's probably worth picking that up. I, I believe there's only was it thirty thousand? I believe minted of them. So yeah, because I think you get a token with it. So yeah, it's fifteen dollars. I think it's a nice um, thing to pick up if you're into. Um, Year sets, well, it's not a set, it's just like just circulating coins, but yeah, it's a nice way to pick up a um, this year's coins already. So, yeah, another thing, hopefully, this year we have the um, coin shows, um, the pop ups. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, all goes well for that, and we get to see. Um, yeah, so we can go trade um, our circulating coins for the new coins. So, yeah. Okay, so far nothing. So. So far, not, not rotated. Yeah, so my main goal this year is to just... Um, Noodle, mostly 50 cent coins. We'll use that, 96. Um, I'll still be buying some coins from the Mint. Uh, I normally do each year. I'm actually looking forward to the um, Great Aussie Coin Hunt too. So we've got another Aussie Coin Hunt coming out. So that will be good. Um, be interesting to see how that goes. And yeah, I also read that, um, is it a rotary coin, one dollar coin that could be um, being released, so I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen, but yeah, here's a nice year of the family. Uh, is that a white date? It looks like a white date, so that's a nice find, so that is a white date. They're not, as, they're not that rare, but I keep them. I just like them. I think it's a nice variety to have. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see with the Aussie coin hunt. Um, I believe there's going to be a coloured $1 coin with that too. So that would be good to see. Um, so, yeah. Hang on. Oh, there we go. So we've got an 85. So that's a low mintage, 1 million. Uh, it's not in the best condition, but yeah, it's still a good coin to keep, even in this condition. And I would say it's probably worth around about $7, $8 maybe. The ones in good condition sell for upwards of $10, so yeah, that was a nice find. Excuse me. Uh, that's a beat up. I won't try and keep it too long, this video. I'm approaching 10 minutes now. No, good. no it's an 84. I plan on doing um, a future video on my... Um, 
uh, PNC collection. It has grown since my earlier video that I put out when I first started the channel. So yeah, I'll be making an update of that. Um, so yeah, if anyone's interested in PNCs, I know they're not as popular as coins, collecting coins, but I like PNCs. Um, I prefer the Royal Australian Mint um, PNCs. I don't really, the only Perth Mint one I have is the Royal Wedding for Prince Harry and um, Meghan. So, yeah, that's the only Perth Mint one I've got. Not really a fan of the Perth Mint ones, but it's still a nice PNC. Um, the War ones are nice, but yeah, I'll just stick with the Royal Australian Mint. It's a nice 69. Um, these are starting to get not hard to find, but in good condition they are. Uh, I've got a fair few. I'll put them back. You can't keep everything. Um, if you do, then you know, you're locking away. You're locking away too much money, and it could be better spent on buying other things like the new coin releases. So yeah, it's got some sort of little doubling there, but as I said, I've got a fair few of them. Yeah, so you can't keep everything. Oh, you can if you're if you're rich, but yeah, I'm not. But yeah, I prefer to put most back. Maybe give you other people a chance to find some nice coins, and yeah. And um, just um, an update on the um, Pat Forward video. Um, another person has reached out to me, so I'll be sending. Um, they've, they've been sent off the, um, four donation dollars to that person, so thank you um, for the support, and yeah. Anyone interested in um, in that? Um, no, it's not a giveaway, but in that, pay it forward. Um, just yeah, go back and you can see it in um, my channel. Pay it forward, donation dollar. It is um, so yeah. I'm giving four, sending out four coins to people. And then they can keep one and then send off or, or give away the other three. It's up to them what they do, but I prefer, yeah, it would be nice if they can also give the coins away and just keep one. At least then it's spreading, spreading the coins around and, and giving people a fair chance at getting some donation dollars. Because they are, well, I'll... I'll can't say for sure, but I, I presume most of them are getting hoarded out of circulation. Um, the thing that frustrates me is that a lot of these coloured coins don't actually make it into circulation. So when there is millions minted, uh, I suspect a lot don't make it into circulation. It is just speculation, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Okay, so this is, a, is it not a wide date. I'll see if I can hopefully pick it up. So there we go. You can see on the bottom, you can see the gap between the nines and the four. So there you go, that picked it up perfect. I believe in my mint video, uh, the 94 mint set, it didn't really pick it up properly. But as you can see here, it did. So yep. So that's the wide date and that's just the normal one. So the wide date's the variety um, 50 cent coin you want to find. As I said, there is a fair few of them. They're not low vintage. Oh, they are, I think. I think they're about a million, if I'm not mistaken. No one knows for sure. Uh, so there's no robe cut or there's no helmet cut here. So. Yeah, it hasn't been a very good hunt for the video. Sorry about that. It'll come earlier. But that's the chance I take. Um, 
instead of going through the whole bag jumbo bag that would probably take about an hour so I don't want to keep it too long that's why I only do five bags um, it's just just the luck of what's left in the five bags so do Today, I haven't been good for the Federation coins. Normally, I do pretty good. But today, only the one so far by the looks of it. It looks like that's where it's going to stay. Uh, there's another changeover. So, I find a lot of 50 cent changeovers. Um, they are high mintage at 7 million. But, yeah, I still keep them. Uh, yeah. That's nothing. It's 2016, so no good. And last coin. We finish on an 83. Yeah, so um, I won't really go over these. Um, I'll be doing a um, weekly finds video on Sunday like I normally do. So I'm back to doing them. And I'll be back to doing probably one coin noodle video a week. Uh, depends. I, I do do two jumbo bags a week, but... I normally just do one coin noodling video, so, yeah, I just don't want to, yeah. So, anyway, um, I'll leave it there. Uh, if you liked the video, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Um, just like to thank all my subscribers, and thanks for all the comments and support, and, yeah, I'll see you all on the next video.